Excellency representing Burundi, Your Excellency Mauritania, Your Excellencies, our leader and former president, General Abu Salam Abubakar. My friend, my brother, my bagana King and His Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you are very much welcome to this second extraordinary summit on the social political situation in the Republic of Niger. I don't need to go back to the history and dis discussions that led us to this far. I want to thank my colleague and head of state some of whom are, some of them are in vacation. They cancel their vacation to respond to this invitation this morning. And they have kept faith with us, with democracy, freedom, and economic development, not only of ECOWAS region, but uh, the African continent as a whole. To get, today we gather with profound sense of urgency and firm determination, meaning upon the commitment made during our first extraordinary summit on the great political crisis befalling our sister nation. During that initial meeting, we voiced our solidarity with the people of Niger and their democratically elected president, His Excellency Mohamed Bazou, by condemning the military takeover and the unjust detention of their democratically elected president and other officials. As you may recall, we call the juncture to rescind the decision of, the to of them toppling a democratically elected government. We proceeded to impose sanctions with the hope that this resolute measure will serve as a catalyst for the restoration of the constitutional order in Niger. Regrettably, the seven-day ultimatum we issued during the fourth summit has not yielded the desired outcome. We have also made diligent effort through the deployment of various ECOWAS mediation teams. I'm glad Abdul Salam Abubakar is here. His Eminence is here. Babad Kanagingipe is here. To give you the report and their observation during the intervention. I must, on behalf of every one of you, show gratitude to them. Patriotism and dedication, seal for which they have responded to the assignment to intervene and bring peace, stability back to Niger. They have feasted Libya, Algeria and they were received by leaders there. 
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, following the resolution of our previous extraordinary summit to initiate a meeting of ECOWAS Chief of Defense Staff, the meeting of the Chief of Defense Staffs was duly held from 2nd to 4th of August 2023. The outcome of that meeting, as well as a memorandum by the President of the ECOWAS Commission on current social political development in Niger, in Niger, will be presented during this summit. This will offer critical insight that will inform our collective decision-making process at this meeting. Today's summit provides a significant opportunity for meticulously reviewing and assessing the progress made since our last gathering. It is essential to evaluate the, the effectiveness of our interventions and identify any gaps or challenges that may have in that progress. Only through this comprehensive assessment can we collectively chart a new sustainable path towards lasting peace, stability, and prosperity in Niger. More so, in reaffirming our relentless commitment to democracy, human rights, and the well-being of the people of Niger, it is crucial that we prioritize diplomatic negotiations and dialogue as the bedrock of our approach. We did. And we still look to engage the party involved, including the coup leaders, in earnest discussion to convince them to relinquish power, as suggested, and reinstate President Bazoum. Bazoum. It is our duty to exhaust all avenues of engagement to ensure a swift return to constitutional governance in Niger. More specifically, as leaders of our respective nations, we must recognize that the political crisis in Niger not only poses a threat to the stability of the nations, but also has far-reaching implications for the entire West African region. By remaining steadfast in our adherence to the principle of democracy, good governance, and the rule of law, we can restore peace, stability, and prosperity in the Republic of Niger, thereby fostering an environment conducive for growth and development for all. Esteemed Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm confident that the second ECOWAS Extraordinary Summit today on the socio-political situation in Niger will be a defining moment in our journey towards a stronger, more resilient, and integrated West Africa. Let us seize this opportunity to make a lasting impact 